if you are in a habit to blow dry your curls often but want to get your curls back, stay tuned to find out how. Hi, I'm Elizabeth. I go by Honest Liz on the internet. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. Today we're going to talk about how to revive your curls after a blow drying adventure. Yes, you heard it right. You can embrace a little bit of heat from time to time if that's what your heart desires. Although the Bible does say that your heart can be deceiving. So it's important that we don't get addicted to these things. Uh, Overindulging in like something as seemingly harmless like blow drying or using high heat frequently can damage our curls. So, if you are in a habit to blow dry your curls often but want to get your curls back, stay tuned to find out how. Step 1. Use a clarifying shampoo. I'm using Sugar Boo because why not go all out and use a strong shampoo that removes all the buildup. Remember, it's all about making sure that your hair is ready to soak up all the yummy things that are coming after you shampoo your hair. So that's why it's important to use a clarifying shampoo. If you have hard water, maybe you'll need a different shampoo like the one from Maintain or the one from My Hair Dance. For the second step in the process, consider using a protein treatment or a hair mask that has protein and moisture in it. The potency of the protein in your mask depends and is directly proportional to how much damage you have in your hair. As for me, I had attempted to blow dry my hair at home by myself for the first time in a whole year and I also took measurements uh, to make sure that I didn't damage my hair in any way. So therefore, I was able to get away by using a mask that has minimal amount of protein and equal amount of moisture. You'll have to decide what protein, mask or treatment that you need to use based on how damaged your hair is. I use the Sugar Boo mask, the same brand as the shampoo that I used, and that's only because they can complement each other. Adjust the timing of your hair mask in your hair. If your hair is coarse and thick like mine, use a protein treatment for less amount of time and use, use a protein treatment and leave it in your hair for more amount of time if your hair loves protein. If your hair is significantly damaged, then you want to go in for like other treatments that focus on damage repair. I list them in the description, so be sure to check it out. Get ready for the magic of the 80-20 gel method. I was inspired to create this method after looking at three other different techniques and I've put them all together into one technique that you can follow to get minimal frizz. After putting all that effort into your cleansing step, it makes sense to go a little bit more, like take a <laughs> go that extra mile in your styling process also and that will help you protect and preserve the moisture that you've added during the cleansing process. Styling is not just for going out or to impress others. It's really a protective measure for your curls. Generously apply leave-in conditioner on soaking wet hair. Then plop your hair into a microfiber towel or a towel t-shirt or a t-shirt that you have. This is to soak the extra water out of your hair. And when your hair feels damp, add a little bit of gel in the preferred way that you use it. But remember, your hair right now is like about 80% wet. So you can consider it as borderline damp, but not as dry and not as wet either. Then proceed to dry as usual. I prefer to use a hooded dryer first and then I also diffuse a few minutes. But wait until your hair is about just 20% wet. And that's when you reapply a little bit of more gel in your hair. At this point, you can use gels that don't need water. But since I chose to use the same brand, the leave-in and the gel from the same brand that I used the shampoo and the mask, this gel, the sugar boo gel, is a little bit thick. So I needed some water to emulsify it in my palms to spread it out 
like a thin layer of film in my hands so it's easy to apply it on my hair without disturbing the curls and then you proceed to dry fully dry your hair trust me the results are worth it to maintain consistency i prefer using styling products that are from the same brand after all brands formulate all their products to work with each other and to complement each other so then why bother uh, cocktailing different brands into one routine and you're not even sure if it's going to work out and i'm i'm at a point i'm 37 years old i have lots of decisions to make every single day so i'm at a point in my life that i want to make as less decisions as possible so i go for a whole brand wash day as much as possible it just happens that i went for the sugar boo starting from the shampoo mask leave in and gel because they just complement each other and it's just what my hair needed and voila my curls are back after the blow drying adventure thanks to the 8020 gel method and the sugar boo curls products this hair by the way if you're wondering this is day 3 i need to seriously get out of this t-shirt uh but i refreshed my hair with just with a little bit of gel if you want to know how i did that the the tutorial link is also in my description i encourage you to Give this method a try, and if you're curious about the Sugar Boo Curls products, then remember to use my code for a discount on their website. They ship world worldwide, <laughs> and they're affordable, and they're accessible, and they're made in India. Remember, there's no shame in blow drying your curls from time to time. It's okay to do those things, but it's also important to bring your to bring your curls back with the right aftercare methods and techniques and products. so that your hair is not damaged from any of these things before we wrap up i was wondering what styling method do you use let me know in the comments below and i'll see you in the next video